A premiere date has been revealed for Ric Flair's documentary airing on the Peacock. Renee Paquette reveals AEW contract length. Kylie Ray and Casey Navarro attended a WWE tryout. And we have an injury update on WWE's Drew McIntyre and more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo bringing to you another episode of The Latest, focusing in on some of the biggest headlines in wrestling today. So let's go ahead and kick it off with an update on Drew McIntyre. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer gave an update on how long Drew McIntyre is expected to be out of action. Drew McIntyre announced yesterday that he's been medically disqualified from competing on this Friday SmackDown. McIntyre promised that he'll be back in the ring soon. Meltzer confirmed on Wrestling Observer Radio that the injury issue McIntyre is dealing with isn't expected to be a long-term thing. Meltzer noted that McIntyre wanted to wrestle on Friday SmackDown, but WWE wouldn't let him. Meltzer also noted that Drew McIntyre is supposed to be back for the Christmas house shows. Indie wrestlers Casey Navarro and Kylie Ray were reportedly among those today at a WWE tryout. PW Insider reported that WWE is currently holding a tryout at its Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Kylie Ray and Casey Navarro are the first two names PW Insider has confirmed as taking part in the tryout. PW Insider wrote, the tryout started yesterday and will run towards the end of the week. And we've got some news on several WWE and AEW trademark filings. Take a look. After uttering the phrase Reign of Terror during a segment on last Wednesday's Dynamite, a representative for AEW World Champion MJF filed the term the following day for merchandise like hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and bandanas. Additionally, on December 3rd, AEW filed a trademark for the commonly used hockey term hat trick. On the WWE side of things, the company filed for WWE ringleaders on December 1st as relates to their next in line program for college athlete recruitment. And finally, while she hasn't been seen on WWE TV, Sasha Banks did file a trademark for her real name. Sasha Banks filed a trademark for her real name on December 1st as relates to live audio performances by an actor or musician and wrestling exhibits and performances by a professional wrestler and entertainer. During a podcast appearance released Tuesday, AEW on-screen personality Renee Paquette discussed the length of her contract and that she actually has two different deals with the company. Talking on sports media podcast, Paquette confirmed that she has a three-year deal with AEW as both a talent and a producer, both of which have their own unique contract. She said that while she loves doing backstage interviews, she is hoping to expand her role in the year ahead, including hosting kickoff shows and being able to flex more in the producer role. As a producer, she would like to be able to work with other backstage interviewers so that they can be doing them to the fullest capacity. She also confirmed that she was having talks with WWE before she signed with AEW, but that it made more sense for her family to sign with AEW and that her husband, John Moxley, was essentially acting as the go-between agent. A new documentary on Ric Flair's life and career will air on Peacock later this month. On Monday, Ric Flair announced on social media that a two-hour documentary titled Woo! Becoming Ric Flair will air on Peacock the next day after Christmas, December 26th. Those interviewed for the documentary include Hulk Hogan, Mike Tyson, Post Malone, Stephen A. Smith, and Charlotte Flair. This would be Flair and WWE's first project together since his departure from WWE in the summer of 2021. Since then, Flair wrestled what was billed as his final match in July. And Naomi recently tweeted out a couple of photos and even a video of her and AEW TBS champion Jade Cargill hanging out together at the Atlanta Hawks versus the Oklahoma City Thunder game and tweeted, Oh, what a night. Former Bellator MMA fighter Valerie Loretta has received her WWE in-ring name. On her social media accounts on Tuesday, Loretta announced that she'll be going by the name Lola Vice in WWE. After attending WrestleMania and later visiting the Performance Center, she revealed this June that she had signed a multi-year contract with the company. She officially joined the Performance Center as part of its group of recruits that were introduced in August. 
Loretta made her in-ring debut as part of the Halloween Battle Royal at an NXT house show in October. Loretta then had her first non-Battle Royal match at a November house show. And that's your news roundup for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during the latest, and I will catch you on the next vid. Enjoyed this series? Check out our previous episode by clicking on the screen.